What's up, friends? This is Jazz, bringing you another For Better or For Worse vlog number 27. Today, well, we have two more vlogs and one, you know, older vlog that's related to the first one. So, the first one is from... January 30th, 2011, which is the newer version, and I will read it, and then go to the newer version, well, you know what, the newer one's kind of special, because that is also from 1982, like a strip or so, two ago, so... It is, Ellie's looking at the Sobeys Bakery, and she comes home, and Michael's like, can we see that, see the donut you bought, Mom? And Elizabeth is like, want a donut, want a jam one. She's like, after supper. And Michael's like, please, please, can we have one half each? She's like, no, they are for after dinner, and that's that. Suddenly, they leave. They're all sad. And then suddenly, Michael's like... Suddenly, he's like, Aha! And they see Ellie sneaking one. Ha! Oops, Daisy Ellie. Sh should have been a little more careful. And then again, as I said, the other one is from 1982. And... And it's about the same as the other. I'll show it for one second while I talk to about these strips. Honestly, adults, they, okay, I know I'm saying this as a young adult, right, well, almost an adult, anyway, but adults think they go, well, they're the exception to all the rules, like, the kids, like, like, they say it, and that's the rule, like, the rule goes, right, and they don't often realize that kids can be watching them very closely, and will point out their contradictions you know, contradict what they said and what they're doing, and it's kind of hilarious, but then the parent would probably argue, well, to do as I say and not as I do, again, that will probably be Ellie just shortly after, I don't know, it doesn't show any follow-up to that. You know what, honestly guys, I, some of these scenarios I would just love to that Lynn would have had, I would have loved to if, I would have loved that Lynn, if Lynn, okay, I would have loved that if Lynn had, had a follow-up strip right after that of their argument about that whole situation, right? That would have been hilarious, but you know what, I mean, sometimes she does, like, some are, like, but back in the early days of this strip, it was more, get to get the strips out, it was more of a, oh, if there's a funny gag, a funny idea, she would write it down. It, at, at the very beginning, it wasn't serialized. It was more random, right? If there was a really good gag and a really good idea, that would be the script for that day. And, and that, that can be a really good thing, too, because it will make it more interesting to see, to watch, or read. And she still, even near the end of her day, she still had some random, just fun strips, right? But it was more serialized, more telling the stories of the kids and even Ellie and John. So, it, it's good and refreshing to get an older strip, but it's just fun, right? Random fun. I love all the strips, right? I, I like the whole, love the whole for better or for worse. But I just, my favorite were the earlier, first five, six years of it, anyway. So, let's get on to our last strip, which was from June 9th, 1996. And, well, Brian, which it was Michael's, how do I put it? In, I'm trying to think, in 1985 or something, I think, Michael, I don't know, when, 1985, Lawrence, Michael's best friend, and you may have seen it in one or two of them, had moved away with his mom. So they sold their house, and Brian and his sister Dawn and his parents, Carol and Keith and Joe, which they're Japanese-Canadian, moved to the town, and he became fast friends with Michael. So, it shows them all playing, both playing with Edgar, and they're playing football, and they're playing, 
and Edgar really wants to play, and Michael then finally teases, like, after Michael catches says, you want it, Eddie? You want the ball? Huh? Want it? And then suddenly he bends down his derriere is in the air. He's like, okay, 26, thir 27, 36, 42, and suddenly Edgar's like, chop, bites his ass. And then suddenly it shows John, and like they're all back, right? Like Brian is laughing, and Michael's like to John, "Do me a favor, Dad. Don't ask." Yeah, guys, this is a fine example of what I said maybe four strips or so ago about how Michael sh should be too old to act, do a certain thing or act a certain way. This is a fun example. Here, he is about 20 years old, about. He, like, he, he was born in 1976, and he, this is 1996, so he is an ad a young adult. Yet he's still acting like a teenager or a big kid. And it was his own fault that Ed Edgar bit him. But uh, at the same token... Like, I wonder how hard he bit Michael, because when you think about it, dogs, I mean, okay, I and that's sad in a way, but dogs can often be put down if it's aggression, if it really breaks the skin, so, but, my, but nothing ever happened to Edgar, so I don't think he broke the skin of Michael's, you know, but... I mean, that was kind of hilarious. Even Brian finds it really funny. Honestly, to be fair, though, I know this sounds silly because I have a dog, but I am actually kind of nervous in some ways of strange dogs. I was literally chased, well, not, yeah, kind of chased. Well, I stood still, right? But by a, I'm not going to say their name, by a neighbor's dog and bit. Um, and that's when I lived in my old house, we'll just say. I was still in high school at the time, and I believe the dog did break the skin. Nothing had happened to the dog, though. Like, we did press charges, nothing was notified, right? Because we knew those neighbors for years. And I didn't say anything until I got home, right? And Kathy was actually there that day. And like she, I think she was walking or something too, and she saw it. So that's the thing. Like the dog, the small. It was a small dog. They were around kids before, so it. And I was around there, but the dog managed to get out. So I don't know. Like ever since that day, I was nervous walking past there by myself. So it just because of that, and I mean nothing bad came of it, really. But it was traumatizing for me. So, I can't, but I, I really, though, I honestly can't really sympathize with Michael there, though. Because he was really teasing Edgar. He wasn't, like, being, like, he wasn't being, like, physically mean or anything. But, I mean, Michael did kind of ask for it at this point. I mean, the dog that bit me, it was completely unprovoked. I mean, I stood still. I didn't even know he was going to bite me. I stood still because he was coming towards me. Right, because I heard you should never run when a dog approaches you. But you know what? I probably should have at this point or another. Then again, that dog could have gotten hurt if it chased after me. So, but I mean, honestly, either way is stupid. Standing still or I probably should have just continued moving right? Necessarily not running because standing still didn't help my case either, so again, like, I don't very much sympathize with Michael because he kind of did provoke Edgar in a way, but I guess the ending was pretty funny, especially because he was an older adult that should have known better. I mean, I don't know, did Edgar think his butt was a ball? Because he moved it right under it? I don't know.
But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel and like what you see, please subscribe. It helps this channel a lot. And don't forget to hit the bell notification so you'll know when new videos are coming out. And I will see you guys in my next video.